Hey guys, it's Kid, and welcome back to another episode of Thimbleweed Park. Last time we left off, well, um, with the Will reading, we have arrested um, Willie and charged him. Well, I don't know if we have we actually charged him. I think we did. We charged him with the murder of the body down by the bridge. So now we're playing as Dolores, and uh, I think it's time to do the Will reading. So let's let's review her journal and see what we need to do. Find out what happened to Dad. Get a lawyer to read the uncle's will and collect 50 more specks of dust okay and she still needs to collect 50 more specks of dust as well so that's that's interesting um all right let's see if any of our other players have uh objectives now remember we've lost ray and ah, Reyes. i can't believe i got over again what did i do to deserve this treatment all I wanted to do was entertain people and make them laugh at the stupidity of stupid people. I feel like there's a lesson in all of this, but you, I'm Ransom the Clown. It's all that Franklin's fault. He was going to talk to Chuck about putting my new high-tech Ransom the Clown license dolls into production at the old pillow factory. Interesting. Then he flaked out. He's probably in Mexico skinny dipping with my next wife. Mm, he's dead. Okay. I need to break into that pillow factory and see mm. if my prototype Ransom the Clown doll is still in there. I feel like that's my not a good idea. My comeback depends on it. You! Alright, so what's Ransom going to do? Break into the pillow factory, collect 50 more specks of dust. I hate my life. Go bleep yourself if you found this note and are reading it. Fantastic. All right, who else we got? Uh, we got Franklin. Oh, oh, I'm, you know, really dead. It's just starting to, you know, sink in. I'm never going to hold my Dolores again. I never told her how proud I was of her for getting that job designing games. I was, you know, too afraid of what Chuck would think. Now I'm dead. I don't remember who killed me or why I'm trapped in this hotel. I need to find a way to escape from here. There has to be a way out. A magical book or a spell? Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. That only works in games. Okay, so I feel like... Each one of these people have told us something that we probably need to hold on to. So he needs some kind of a spell or a book or something of that nature, I have a feeling. So let's look, look at his to-do list. Try and talk to Dolores. So we can bring Dolores to the hotel because I don't think Ch uh, Frank Franklin can leave. Um, visit Chuck's tomb and get closure. So we'll have to take him out to the cemetery. Get into the penthouse and escape to the afterlife. Okay, so let's go back to Dolores. And of course she's I gonna say can't something. help but feel there was something suspicious about Uncle Chuck's death. He was a bit eccentric, but deep down he had always been a caring and thoughtful uncle. But in the last few years, he became obsessed, and more than usual, with that pillow factory. I need to get inside and see if anything in his old office will help me make sense of it all. I owe it to him to find out what happened. Yes, you do. All right, let's see if she has something new. Um, get inside the pillow factory. Okay, let's let's see if she can talk to her dad at the hotel first. Uh, and I figured out how to fast travel, which is much nicer than making her walk everywhere. So let's go to the hotel. Now, her father is upstairs. I guess we could talk to this guy, right? Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? Where's my dad? Did you see my dad just before he disappeared? I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Mm -hmm. Funny thing, Abu, though. Yes? Please, tell me everything. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. Weird. Dad's nose isn't big, and you know what Dad looks like. Where's his body? How else may I be a boo of service? How's business been going? In this town? Always slow. You know how it is. Well, Thimblecon Abu just opened to record crowds. Thimblecon? How else may I be a boo of service? 
Hmm. How about we get some tickets then? I'd like some tickets for ThimbleCon. I'm sorry. We only have ThimbleCon tickets for K Scumaboo contest winners. You should listen to K Scum on the radio for your chance to win a boo. How else may I be a boo of service? Well, I don't know if you know this about me or not, but I worked in radio for pretty much a decade, so I want tickets. I need to, I need to, and we can actually go to the radio station, I guess. I saw that on the map uh, a couple times ago, a couple playthroughs ago. Let's see. Let's see if we just check I'm out what else is in the hotel. The beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Win tickets to ThimbleCon. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, there it is. Thimbleweed Park's second largest nerd and geek convention. Second. Listen to KSCUM to win free ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Okay. <gasps> ThimbleCon. Calling all geeks. ThimbleCon 87 is now open. Well, then go in. Ah! None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. How can I get a ticket? The radio is doing a competition to win tickets. You could try your luck by calling up when they announce it. But, um... Shut up in there. No preaching to the Trekkie converted. <laughs> Where is Shut the radio? In there. Where have we... Disney oh, in the, the company rooms. Ever. I wonder if we can go listen to the radio in the room. In the room. Um, what floor is Franklin on? He's on 12. Let's see if we can get Dolores up to 12. The doors are closed. Mm, aren't you observant? I can't open that. Oops. Um, use the call button. Oh, look, she's still in here too. Mm, now 12. There's her dad. So, can we talk to Dolores? Dolores, it's me, Dad. Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. Aww. I wish I'd, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. You followed your dreams and didn't let Chuck hold you back. I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. I wish I'd stood up to Chuck. Chuck pushed everyone around and used his charm to make everyone forgive him. I saw it and, you know, didn't do anything. Goodbye, Dolores. I miss you. Well, she doesn't have a key card, so... How is she going to get into her room? I didn't think that part through. I guess I could use... Um... What happened? <laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's Ray. She's back in town. I'm checking in. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. You didn't even get a name. How do you know who she is? Oh no. Not long now. It's Reyes. He's back in town too. They both left on a bus. I'd like to check in, please. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. Again, no names. This Sheriff Areno at the desk just happens to know everybody's name. Hey, look. What is this? Let's uh, use the telephone. You have one new message. Message one. You know who this is? You must be close to achieving our goal. We sent the package to the front desk for you. It is required for the next stage. Sayonara. No more new messages. Uh... We need to get the phone number to the radio station. 
Yes. Hello, 198.7 FM KSCUM listeners. DJ Cassie here. We interrupt our hostile takeover of the airwaves with this important announcement. I have four free ThimbleCon 87 tickets to give away. First caller who can answer our trivia questions wins. And now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover. You didn't give a phone number. How am I supposed to call them? All right, so she has a package apparently at the front desk. Well, it would have been nice if they would have given it to her before. What? Mm, I didn't switch to him. So he has a message too. You have one new message. Message one. Hola, soy mamá. ¿Recuerdas la, la vieja promesa que me hiciste sobre papá? He enviado un paquete a recepción. Es vital para nuestro plan. Come bien, llámeme pronto. Estoy preocupada. Un beso. No more new messages. I don't speak a lot of Spanish, but I got a little bit of that. So... Let's have him go out. I can't open that. I didn't mean to click the sign. Here's your package, boo. Thank you. Oh no, they're gonna run into each other, aren't they? Oh, this is just great. Is that you, Reyes? No, I'm not Reyes. Drop the act. That's the worst disguise I've ever seen. Then I guess you haven't You're looked in the mirror both lately. Both wearing the same Touché. disguise. What are you doing back in town? I knew something was up with you. Same here, Sherlock. I don't think either of us were being honest. I think it's time we came clean and told the truth about why we're in Thimbleweed Park. You yes, first. please. Okay. Hmm, which lie should we tell her? Uh, I suspect Thimbleweed Park is a secret UFO base. I'm investigating the old pillow factory fire that killed my father. That's his father? Hmm. Is it? I'm going to say this one. I suspect Thimbleweed Park is a secret UFO base. Bullshit. Okay. <laughs> she called that real quick. I'm here looking to buy a nice house for the family. Bullshit. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm investigating local corruption. Bullshit. Okay. I mean, it has to be this then. Is it really his father? I'm investigating the old pillow factory fire that killed my father. I was wondering why you kept asking about the fire. I figured it was just some perverted pyro fetish. My father was a security guard there. How oh, old were his you? Father was I was the only five. Guard. Mom says he was always complaining about the faulty logic in the factory machines. Clearing your dad's name is a very noble cause. I'm sorry I've given you such a hard time. I need to get into Are that. Are you factory. Ray? I'm sure there is evidence in there that will clear his name. Now, why are you really here? Well, <laughs> this one. She's being hazed. I'm up for promotion and this is the official hazing. Bullpocky. Well, just here to see if there is an opening on the Thimbleweed Park police force. Bullpocky. <laughs> well, <laughs> I love it. I'm on vacation and stumbled onto the dead body and thought I'd help. Bullpocky. Well, so her real answer is a Japanese company is paying me for the secrets of the pillow factory artificial intelligence. I'm here to find the secrets to the pillow factory AI for the NSA. It involves top secret national security. She didn't That's say Japanese. Important. Sounds like we both need to get into the pillow factory. Let's work together on this one. Total honesty. Wow. National security. That's some heavy NSA stuff. No, Let's split up. it's a Japanese we'll go company. Faster. Good idea. Ray lied Sir, to you, I Reyes. Uh-oh. Ooh, 
Let's open the package, shall we? Mm, let's look at it first. It's addressed to me. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> of course it's addressed to you. You yes. picked it up. It's my father's watch. It's my father's old pocket watch, but it's broken, and only a professional will be able to fix it. Okay. Where did Ray go? What, what are you doing out here? It's addressed to me. I've been waiting for this. Well, then open it. Perfect. It's a special tool for a special use. Well, I'm glad we're so... thorough in our examination. All right, so Ray has a new to-do list. She is to steal the secret to the Pillow Factory AI, break into the Pillow Factory, win tickets to Nerdy ThimbleCon, and collect 50 more specks of dust okay so I think we need to take Dolores to the radio station because I don't see any other radios to use around here we just fast travel where was that radio station that's her mansion the radio yep you didn't even have to leave the hotel there you go 198.7 FM KSUC KSCUM. That's a lot of letters for a radio station. Can we go inside? Where's the door? No. Hey, if you're here for the contest, call in like everyone else. But good luck. The lines are jammed. You're listening to KSCUM 198.7 on your FM dial. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. That would look great on my desk back at Mucus Phlegm. Then pick it up. I can't. It's been glued to the desk. What? These wires that are severed here. Um, is there anything else we can look at here? Ooh. Look at the on-air sign. Looks like the radio station is on the air. Well, of course it is. She's playing music. I remember that poster. I can't. It's been glued to the wall. It's locked and bolted from the inside. Bolted? Who bolts a radio station? Impressive, Mike. What a big lever. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay. Oh, oops, speck of dust. You guys almost let me forget to see that one. Almost missed it. Um, okay, well. I guess we can walk outside and look around the radio station a little more. We shut down the tower. No no way am I climbing that. I'm afraid of heights. Is there any dust here? I need dust. Dust, 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 dust. Who's this? Hmm. Let's bring Ray out here too. Hello, Agent Ray. Program any new murder simulators? I don't program murder simulators. I make video games. Whatever you want to call them. I keep finding these specks of dust all over the place. They've been around since before I can remember. I can't stop picking them up either. Never have been able to. We're both trying to get into the factory. Maybe we can team up. I think that's a great idea. Well, it is your patriotic duty to help the feds. Except you're not a fed. Is programming hard? 
If you have a logical mind, it's not too hard. I heard you had to be really good at math. Not really. You just need to be able to think logically. Exactly. When games go 3D, math will be much more important. But that's 20 years away. <laughs> I stopped caring back at not really. I was just trying to be polite. Computers do the math anyway. Why? You just need to know the formulas. Okay, let's uh, let's call there for help. There's too much interference to get a cell signal. What? Ay, ay, ay. So apparently you can't call from here. Can we call from the old circus? Uh, what was that? Four, four, six, eight, I think. Welcome back to the Hintron 3000. How can I help you? I need tickets. I know where ThimbleCon is. I need to get a ticket. Start by looking around for posters advertising ThimbleCon. Look at the posters. I did. You can also talk to the hotel manager about ThimbleCon. I did. The radio station is running a competition. Perhaps you can call them. What's their phone number? Find the radio station's phone number in the phone book under KSCUM. Uh, of course. Phone books are on B Street, in the mansion library, and in any hotel room. Oh, jeez. Find the radio station's phone number in the phone book under KSCUM. Station's phone lines are busy. How could you disrupt this? Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, so we need to find the phone book, which is on B Street. Where is that phone book that we left here somewhere? There's Tube Town. Oh. <gasps> um, pick up phone? It's out of order. But, why but is how it? is it ringing? Exactly. Use it. It's out of order. But how is it ringing? All right, so K Scum is 7286. So let's try to use our cell phones. 7286. Oh, yeah, it's busy. Um, so there's this phone tron thing here, and there's vacuum tubes on it. Can we cut some wires? It's a rare working Phonetron 3000. They can handle hundreds of phone calls. It's in here pretty tight. I'm going to need a tube puller. Luckily you have one, lady. Use the tube puller on this. <gasps> KSCUM's phone system is now out of order. Oops, my bad. What if we put it back in? like a reboot, right? Use this and this. Use this. Oh, I guess I'm not clicking that. KSCUM's phone system is now rebooting. So, oh, I've done forgot the... 7286. Hey, it's ringing. Hello, caller. You're live on KSCUM. Why, thank you. Hello. Correctly answer two out of three questions to win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Oh, no. Your first question is, what television event drew an estimated 750 million viewers worldwide? Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. That's not the right answer. Here's your second question. Which TV show had 83 million viewers tune in to find out who shot JR? Oh, jeez. I'm gonna say Murder, She Wrote? It's either... Mm. Oh, too bad. That's not correct. And your final question. Where were the much-boycotted 1980 Summer Olympic Games held? 
I should have known more about the 80s. I lived through it, but I don't remember. Soul? Nope. That's not right. Let's see how you did. You got zero out of three. Oops. Did you sleep through the 80s? I, I'm apparently sorry. so. You don't win the tickets. Maybe next time you'll do better. Now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover of the airwaves. But what if I call right back? A, so I'm going to write this down. 7286. So I don't have to keep clicking this phone book. All right. Let's see if we can just call right back. 7286. Oh, I have to reboot the phone system again. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. You think they'd catch on to this? KSCUM's phone system is now out of order. KSCUM's phone system is now rebooting. Okay, I guess we can have her call back now. Use the cell phone. 7286. Ugh, wasn't fast enough. Dang it. It's a special tool to remove vacuum tubes in the TX and AT class. KSCUM's, it's a TX1138 tube, all fresh and shiny. KSCUM's phone system Don't is care. Ain't got time for that. 7286. Maybe third time's the charm. Maybe I'll know some Hello, of these questions. Hello, caller. You're live on KSCUM. Hello. Correctly answer two out of three questions to win four Thimblecon so 87 the three. tickets. Your first question is... The hit song, We Are the World, was a recording of 45 musicians for which charity? Oh, no. Um, pretty sure it was AIDS. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not the right answer. Yikes. Here's your second question. I'm terrible with what 80s trivia. What was Jenny's phone number? 8675309. You got it right. And your final question... Which volcano erupted in 1980? That was St. Helens. I do know that one. You got it. Let's see how you did. You got two out of three. Close Ooh. enough for a win. She needed you to do math on the back of a napkin Thimble for that Con one. 87 tickets. You can pick them up at the Edmund Hotel front desk. What's your name? Uh, my name. Hmm. We'll be... Margaret Thatcher. Thank you, and congratulations. Now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover of the airwaves. I want to take her off the air. She is a terrible DJ. Okay, so I guess we need to send old Dolores down to get some Thimbleweed Thimblecon tickets. Dolores, go back to the hotel, please. Thank you. Okay, let's see if Actually, she may not be able to pick these up. Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. Because he knows that she's Dolores. Uh, may I be a boo of service? There should be some Thimblecon tickets in my nickname. Yes, I do have tickets from the Case Gumaboo Trivia Contest. What nickname a boo are the tickets under, please? George H.W. Bush. Margaret Thatcher, please. Ah, yes. Here's your nickname a boo on the list. How else may I be a boo of service? Nothing. I'm going to check out the We're going upstairs. Lobby. Goodbye. What Have if I a could... nice evening. Oh my gosh, there's so many Thimbleweed Thimblecon tickets. Let's take Franklin into Thimblecon too. Why not? Right? Can't cope with the boredom anymore. Talk to me now. Okay. I'm not very good at talking to, you know, strangers. Is she but flirting I'll with give him? it a try. So, Clara, what's life like as, well, you know... Uh, Sounds like a conversation a I would have. For starters, it's not life. Of course, but you know what I mean, right? What's it like? It's like being a ghost. Ah, oh, come on. You're so, you know, upset all the time. How come you're so, you know, upset all the time? That's unfair. I'm not upset all the time. I'm just a little hungry right now, and that makes me angry. That happens to me, too. There should be a word for that. Um, hunger? Starving? There's a lot of words for that. What can ghosts, you know, eat? 
As a ghost, it's hard to find food that we can eat. My particular weakness has always been ice cream cake. But I'm stuck in this stupid elevator and I can't get any. Ice cream cake? Can I, you know, please go to the penthouse? No. Hmm, please. No, you're not my friend. I don't know you anything. <laughs> Fine. Bye, Clara. Visit Chuck's tomb. Okay, get into the penthouse. We need to get some food for Clara. I bet, since we can't leave here, it has to be in Thimblecon. Just has to be, because we can't. I don't think we can leave the hotel still. I haven't tried. I guess we could try that. Um, let's go to the mezzanine. Do, do, do. Easy listening in the elevator. Mm, food for Clara. Zap it. It only sells new Coke, and no one wants that. <laughs> <laughs> For you youngins that don't know, um, New Coke was something that was put out in the 80s by the Coca-Cola company, and it was um, pretty gross. They changed the formula on it, and it was very divisive because there were some people that really liked it, but most pew, people pew, pew. hated it. It was absolutely disgusting, in my opinion. Um, all right, so what else is in here? Yes. Pew, pew, pew. Okay. Um, anything else in here? There's some stuff. Hi, Virgil. Hi, Franklin. Don't let Xavier see us talking and not working. What are we supposed to be doing? Do you know how we can get out of the hotel? Okay, I know can't there's go. a way you can visit your dead relatives. If you have the spell book and offering left for the dead, that is. We all went to Chuck's funeral recently. Were there, you know, many people? For Chuck Edmund, of course there were. Everyone loves Chuck, you know, except me. I don't know how the spell worked exactly, but I know the secret room smelled really nice. Can I have some, you know, cake? This is special ghost cake. It's super rare and hard to get. I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. How about, I'm, you know, hungry? I can't waste a slice of cake for that pathetic reason. Oh, okay, sorry. Thanks anyway. Please, can I have some, you know, cake? I want cake. I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. What's a good reason? Uh, it looks, you know, uh, tasty. I bet if we tell him that Clara wants some, you know, cake, then he'll give us some. How about Clara said she wants some, you know, cake? For Clara? That changes everything. For of her, course. I'd do anything. Here, take a slice. Just make sure you tell her it's from me. Thanks. I'll do that. So it's just regular cake. See you soon, Virgil. See you soon, Virgil. Nothing's happening until they get enough contestants for the Ransom Lookalike Contest. What if we zap the technical knobs? Okay, well, whatever. We'll take the food back to Clara because maybe she'll let us get up to the penthouse. Can we chill? The Shut up in there! They will never make a Star Wars prequel. But if they do, it will be spectacular. <sighs> Sweet relief from this sweat box of a costume. <laughs> Shut up in I love it. All right. Can we... It's just the flap doodle again. The flap doodle? Would you like this, uh, you know, ghost cake? That's just normal ghost cake. Ugh. I only eat ice cream cake. Oh, jeez. Bye, Clara. So what if we chill the cake? Voila. Now it's ice cream ghost cake. Oh, it's just the flap doodle again. You keep calling me a flap doodle and you're not getting anything. Would you like this, you know, uh, ice cream ghost cake? Oh my, you shouldn't have. That's so kind of you. Actually, it's from Virgil. 
I think he, you know, likes you. Really? Well, I never. That's delightful of you to deliver it. Thank you so much. I feel much better already. Now, what did you want to ask me? Can I... But you know. Please go to the penthouse now. All oh, right. I'm tired of listening to Xavier. That old fuss Guys, bugs. we're going to the penthouse. Maybe you can figure out how to get rid of him. Oh, you know, that sounds pretty confrontational. I don't know. <laughs> don't be so pigeon-livered. You should stand up for yourself. Oh, okay. I suppose you're right. <laughs> Good. It's decided then. Just push that penthouse button for yourself when you're ready. I won't stop you anymore. Okay. So I think that's a good stopping point for this episode. Next time we will go up to the penthouse and we will get Dolores into ThimbleCon because she now she has the tickets. So we'll see if we can get some other people in there too. Maybe Raz and Ray need to go in. We'll see. Uh, maybe Ransom too because he needs to do some performing for the crowd. So we'll explore those options next time. We'll see you then. me again do me a favor and don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and tell your friends also take a moment to hit that bell icon so you never miss out on a new video